In this week's episode of Top Rope Talk, we find out that Ryback wants to murder us all. Michael McGillicuddy gets a name change. And Chris is really good at impersonating which animal. Welcome everybody to a new episode of Double Axe Handles Top Rope Talk. I am King Kong Chris. Danny. Cutthroat Falzo. Ooh, I like the little you like that? pause there. That was good. That was my ride. That was dramatic. That was <laughs> it was. And we're coming off right off the heels of Raw, which was right off the heels of Extreme Rules. A lot of heels. Yeah. That guy. We're off. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I didn't actually get to watch Extreme Rules because I had a little mercy at work. But this uh, handsome devil right here actually did watch Extreme Rules. And Danny, two yes. words. In yes. your opinion, in your opinion uh -huh. of Extreme Rules, what do you think? Disappointing. <laughs> I thought you were going to say Extreme. Oh. Be disappointing. <laughs> Come on, man. I, we I, set the pick. I didn't know you said the alley -oop. I was like, I can only think of like, one word. I can only think of one word. Like, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to take it the syllable root. <laughs> it was still funny. I thought it was funny. You want to try it again? Nah, All right. nah, let's do it. Two All words. Right. What do you think of Extreme Rules? Extremely disappointed. Ooh, that was fresh. Oh. That was fresh. I just wrote that. Now, nah, hold on. Guys, wait, pause. We're not those fans. We're not the fans that just hate everything. Like, no, Oh my god, wrestling sucks. I don't even know why I watch every week. Since no. we started watching Again, full time yeah. for the past three years, this is, I can honestly say, the first pay per view that I'm disappointed in. Hmm. I don't know why. I feel like none of the matches were as caliber as they could have been. Um, the best part was the Shield winning, but I feel like we already knew that. Yeah. If the Shield didn't win, WWE was losing a bunch of fans <laughs> again. So much hate. The thing was, uh, we're gonna get bombs in the mail if the Shield wasn't winning. <laughs> the nice little segment. Not from us. Like, would be like our. <laughs> of course not. Uh, our tallies, uh, our, our guesses to Extreme Rules predictions, yes. and we we both agreed that the Shield was going to sweep the floor, right? If they did. The uh, ring. <laughs> sweep the floor. Uh, the ring. Uh, and, and they did. They did, which is awesome. Which yes. is probably the best reason. I mean, I was at work, you know, keeping up notes of my job. I was like, Shield won, yes! And I didn't care about much anything else. Yeah. Uh, apparently, neither did Daniel here. Yeah. Um, so... What can you do? Our guess was pretty good. I think we are we disagreed on one thing, which is Mark Henry versus Sheamus. I said Sheamus was gonna win. You said Mark Henry was gonna win. Sheamus obviously won. So you said the title was like you got five out of nine, and I got six out of nine. Yeah. Which we're not happy with. We want that Hondo. We want that Hondo, son. We didn't get it. No. And then of course John Cena and Ryback. And then no. Nobody would. No decision, that. which is weird. I guess you have to see that. I guess. Um, do one. So and that's that. And then let's go right into Raw. Which is, I think, we can say that Raw Ten was times better than Extreme Rules. Way better than Extreme Rules. The matches were awesome. It was yep. great. Yeah, and that we had teasers from Twitter saying that Paul Heyman has a new uh, person in his um, team. New wrestler. Stable. In his stable. <laughs> Hell yeah. A lot of rumors. Like a little horse impression <laughs> for the stable. I didn't Flesh. even try to do it. I just did it. <laughs> that is the best impression. Mark it down. <laughs> On episode five, you guys see my the best opinion. impression Chris can do, right there. I can't do it now. Ah, because don't even think about it. Maybe like in like ten minutes, just yeah. do it out of nowhere. Word. There it is. You heard it first. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. So Raw opened up with Ryback uh, coming into the show out of an ambulance into the ring. And he, well, actually, no, he gets on top of the ambulance, yeah. right? And he basically starts healing it up, just. You guys suck. I lost. Oh, like, nobody won because of you guys. Oh, my God. Wow, I'm just angry. And uh, we both agreed that this was probably the best we've seen Ryan back on the mic anyway. Definitely. Yeah, so it was almost like, oh, okay. All right, back. Okay. It was a little rough because he was also like, we'll take all of you guys to the morgue. Which, as you guys don't know, if you don't know, today is the two-year anniversary of Macho Man passing away. So, like, it still stings, Ryback. Right Let's not talk about the morgue. What a jerk. So yeah, so so he basically challenges John Cena to an ambulance match. Yippee. Yep. Um, at Payback, WWE Payback, which is the next pay-per-view. Yes. Um, so John Cena, the ball's in his court. And he guarantees a win. He said, I'm going to win. Yep. Definitely going to win. 
right? Yep. Then later on in the night, Cody Rhodes had a match with Zack Ryder. That's right. So we were like, "Cool, Zack Ryder's got a match." It's weird that you're you're putting two people that have no momentum at all against each other, but we'll both, watch it. Both we enjoy watching. So love Zack, love Cody. I would say the match maybe went a good like five minutes or so. A lot of good back and forth. Cody Rhodes ends up winning with the beautiful disaster kick. And then uh, Ryback's music kicks. Ugh. And you're like, oh, no. huh. Oh, no. So Zack Ryder got squashed again. Yeah. And now Ryback he's about to get destroyed super Ryder. squashed. Just... So he he, clo he clotheslines him, power bombs him. I think that's in his repertoire now. Ugh. And then he shell shocks him and then he walks him all the way up the rink into the ambulance. Those men, their ambulance backs off. And they take a joy ride to the hospital. Yeah, apparently the ambulance was sitting there for an hour and 40 minutes <laughs> just waiting for Zack Ryder. Right back which like, they could have expedited if he only knew earlier. <laughs> you poor, know. The poor ambulance guy was like, Bro, I got a date tonight. Not anymore. <laughs> so I'm more pissed that right back uh, did this to Ryder or whoever chose to do this to Ryder again. Maybe the only way I can see this fix is if maybe Ryder. He's gonna come back a changed man. Then maybe he'll start getting some wins again. But oh. like, why they gotta do this again to Ryder? Well, he's gonna turn heel after the hospital. Who knows, man? But it's just, I just feel it's a little unfair to Ryder anyway. I mean, he's the one that pushed the whole internet era on WWE. Yeah. And then they just give him the opposite of a push. They just straight bury him. So it sucks that that happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, We're just disappointed. Yeah, it really is. The next big thing that happened on Raw anyway, the next big highlight would be Paul Heyman introducing a new person into his mm. ah, damn right. it. Stable. That's right. That's <laughs> <It's> alright. <laughs> oh! oh. How's it going? And uh, so everybody's like, the rumors were RVD. Mm. Eh, right, we're cool. I mean, RVD's cool, I guess. A, a lot of the rumors were RVD, some were saying Batista. Where I was like, first off, Batista's not coming back unless John Cena is gone because he hates John Cena Batista. for whatever reasons. He just Batista. doesn't like the PG era. But you know what? Money talks. That's right. Not so, to us because we don't have any. <laughs> no. So, music hits, right? And come, here comes out Michael McGillicuddy. <gasps> Beard and all. Looking good. And you're like, yo, what's this about? All junk. Paul Heyman says, this is my new man, right here, now known as, what? Curtis Axel. Um, so yeah, so now he's known as Curtis Axel because his papa, Kurt Henning. Yep, and so his Curtis. And great his, papa, <laughs> great, his nickname, his grandpapa. Axel. Yeah, uh, his grandpapa. Larry the Axe yeah. Henning, Curtis Axel. Hey, creative. It yeah. works. Uh, that's base, That's what Henning always wanted was to carry on his... Father's man. legacy, on, man. and uh, now he gets to carry them both, and he's brilliant. I remember us watching him a few years ago. I mean, well, he was in NXT. He deserves this. But we got to watch him against Tyson Kidd in an NXT match at a SmackDown taping, and Stole match blew our mind. Um, Stole the show. It was great. He deserves it. Yep. Um, it's nice to see him being used. His music is a nice little Mr. Perfect remix, which uh, is a really nice touch. Nice homage. Yeah. To the dead. So it's gonna be exciting stuff. But then here comes Triple H. He comes into the ring and he's all like, "I want to talk to Paul, uh, to Paul Heyman." They're talking smack, and Curtis Axel's all like, "Whoa, Triple H! The game has changed. The game has changed." Almost pushed me out of frame. <laughs> the game has changed. You talk to me now. And Julie's all like, "Settle down, Junior." And then the men are talking. <laughs> the that was funny. And they just start throwing blows. Bah, 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 bah. They start fighting, right? And then Triple all like. You're going to fight tonight, and then when I'm done fighting you, I'm going to fight Paul Heyman. The point is like, Ooh. and that's your main event for tonight. Yeah. Well, the night. Yeah, time. so into the main event. Um, Triple H pretty much dominated. Um, but I almost said McGillicuddy. <laughs> Curtis had, a, had, a few little, had a few little glimpses and glimmers into his offense. Um, basically, towards the end of the match, he throws Triple H out of the ring. Triple H's having some like difficulty because apparently he got hit in the jaw with his hammer, his sledgehammer that he now keeps in the new cage. Don't. It's a long story. Yeah. If you watch Extreme Rules, you would get it. It's not really that important. But Brock Lesnar hit him in the jaw. 
he was apparently unconscious and hurt his jaw. Yeah. Um, so when McGillicuddy punched him in the face, he uh, started exactly feeling the weird. repercussions. So then he goes to the doctor and he's like, I can't do it, give you water, blah, blah, blah. And after a few like gives of sitting, standing up, sitting down, all those things, uh, the doctor's like, cut the mat, can't do it. So the Paul Ham is like, Shot. Uh oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. So that'll obviously lead to next week where Triple H is like, I got injured. He'll obviously no blame more. the Paul Heyman stable where Brock started it. Nice. And uh, Curtis finished it. I'm gonna have a hard time calling him Axel, so I'm gonna keep calling him Curtis. That's right. Because I wanna call him McGillicuddy. That's right. Or Henning. And you got Axel Rose from Guns N' Roses. Because you know how much we love him. He's fat. Is he? I don't know. I mean, he has to be. He's old now. So when we all get old, we're going to be fat? Yeah. I mean, I'm planning to be. So anyway, guys, that's mostly Raw. Um, so, yeah, Raw was way better than Extreme Rules, as Danny said. Yes. Uh, which leads all to exciting stuff. I mean, we're all so happy that Shield is just covered in gold. It looks great on him. Oh, man, it looks good. It looks so good. Um, uh, Diana Bryan was a very serious character on Raw tonight anyway. He just didn't want to be the weakest link. But he wasn't. He proved that... That he, uh... Best match of the night, by the way. Six-man tag. It was great. Team Hell No with Kofi versus The Shield. And definitely the longest. I think maybe one about 20, 25 minutes. Um, it was a great match. Yep. Another notable mention is AJ using her Black Widow submission. Who's got a new shirt? Looks cool. I just love that submission. It's just all over the place. <laughs> so you can do it. So guys, before we leave you off, if you really enjoy the show, please share it. Share it amongst your friends. Share it amongst your family. Share it amongst everybody. Strangers. And also guys, strange. Hey, dude, talk to strangers. It's cool. Um, also, stranger, no stranger danger here. <laughs> buy our album, please, guys, on iTunes. Um, it's really good stuff. Also, hit us up on Twitter, talk to us on all the good jazz. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Danny? Yes. Say bye. Bye, Danny.